Right now, firefighters on both coasts have been working around the clock to beat back deadly wildfires in New York and state park rangers was killed there and in California. Fires have destroyed more than 130 homes and structures. NBC's Dana Griffin has the latest. It was the type of firestorm experts had feared. Bone dry conditions combined with powerful Santa Ana winds pushing embers for miles, spreading flames through residential neighborhoods. We had 60 mile an hour sustained wind with 80 mile an hour gusts. It was unlike anything I've seen. Water carrying aircraft able to slow the blaze, but the flames still a challenge for firefighters. It's like trying to put a blowtorch out with a squirt gun. Across the county, the devastation is unreal. Out of the 20 homes we counted on this block, five are still standing. 88 year old Marion Gearhart lived here for 52 years. Her home now gone. One neighbor was leaving. I didn't even know it was evacuate and she called. She says, go, you got to get out of here. Firefighters sifting by hand through the rubble, hoping to find a cherished family heirloom. In the Northeast, drought conditions fueling unprecedented wildfires. Trees and brush burning going up the hill rapidly. About 100 homes evacuated in the Pennsylvania mountains. Firefighters in New York and New Jersey racing to battle dozens of blazes under the driest conditions in decades. Not only is the fire burning on top of the ground, but it's burning under the ground. And the fires already claiming one life. Dariel Vasquez, a state parks employee, killed while fighting a blaze in New York this weekend. He was just 18. Over the weekend in Brooklyn, New York, firefighters rushing to contain a brush fire caused by heavy winds and dry vegetation in Prospect Park. Smoke from multiple fires in the area blanketing the iconic New York City skyline. Back in California, crews are racing to fully contain the mountain fire here in Ventura County before destructive dry Santa Ana winds return again.